Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about the South Korean Defense Acquisition Program Administration or DAPA plans to develop a new missile defense system, the LSAM-2, the improved version of the existing LSAM-1 surface-to-air defense system. The development of the LSAM interceptor air defense system is driven by the North Korea's massive expansion of rockets, ballistic missile and hypersonic missile in their inventory. Currently, DAPA is just now finalizing the work that has started since 2014, and they plan to complete the system by the end of the year. The current LSAM is meant to intercept targets from 50 to 60 kilometers away. It is a truck-mounted system, and the LSAM-2 is also expected to be the same. The LSAM surface-to-air defense system has two types of missiles, one which is designed to shoot down aircraft, and the other one specialized in shooting down ballistic missiles. Just like Israel, South Korea plans to have a multi-layer air defense system. South Korea also uses the famed Patriot Pac-3 and the THAAD air defense system from the United States, providing the country a very potent mix of air defense system. But North Korea has among the largest and the most diverse set of rockets, missiles, and ballistic missile within their arsenal, while the LSAM-2 expected to have a maximum engagement range of 150 kilometers, three times longer range than the LSAM-1. The LSAM-2 is also expected to have an enhanced missile that uses a high-altitude interceptor for increased interception at higher altitude compared to the older LSAM-1. The LSAM-2 development will have a budget of 1 trillion Korean won, or $730 million. In May this year, DAPA also approves the development of the medium-range surface-to-air missile Block 3, or MSAM Block 3, with an upgraded interceptor and radar to counter possible hypersonic threats from North Korea. The MSAM-3 system is expected to be capable of defending simultaneous missile attacks with a defense range that is four times longer than the current system. Currently, the MSAM-2 has a maximum engagement range of 40 kilometers, and it can intercept targets from 15 to 20 kilometers or 65,000 feet high. The MSAM-3 has allocated budget of 2.8 trillion Korean won, or $2.49 billion. The MSAM-3 development is expected to be from 2024 and to be completed by 2034. South Korea is a growing military powerhouse exporting country. Lately, they were able to sold the current MSAM-2 to Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates for $3.2 billion and $3.5 billion contracts, respectively. In fact, South Korea hopes to achieve a defense sale of around $20 billion this year. Meanwhile, the next-generation weapon cable of knocking out aerial targets even at higher and farther altitude is already in the works according to DAPA.